So let's take a look at a case of an x-ray of the foot of a patient who went for a very long hike. When looking at the AP, we can see that there's some abnormality in the shaft of the second metatarsal with solid appearing periosteal reaction. Similarly, when we look at the oblique sequences, we can see that there's some cortical disruption here. So this is a stress fracture of the second toe. A stress fracture is chronic abnormal load on normal bone. An insufficiency fracture, on the other hand, involves normal stresses on abnormal bone, so they might be osteopenic. With stress fractures, usually there's a history of recent sudden increase in physical activity. So they might have gone for a hike or a marathon without much training. And usually they're in the lower limbs, as those are the weight-bearing areas. It's important to know that plane films normally have a poor sensitivity in the early stage of about 15 to 35%. But as they progress, they produce periosteal reaction and are much easier to see. MRI is the most sensitive modality demonstrating marrow edema with the sensitivity reaching 100%. So here's a more subtle fracture where you can just see some increased sclerosis and cortical thickening along the site. Importantly, the patient complains of focal pain in that area. In terms of management, fractures at low risk sites are managed conservatively with reduced weight bearing and modification of activity. At high risk sites or where patients are athletes, for example, they usually require orthopedic consultation.